my first month, I already have 100,000 subscribers. Now you have 850,000 subscribers. How much money do you earn by month? Hi, my name is Ryan. Today we invite a really special guest from Philippines. Hi guys, I'm Moi from Philippines. She's really famous YouTuber in the Philippines, right? Not that much. Not that much? 850,000 subscribers? Not that famous. You're so modest. I think she's a very famous YouTuber in the Philippines. You guys may also curious about her, so I'm gonna ask many questions about YouTube. Are you ready to answer? Yeah, I'm born ready. Okay, I see. So, when did you start YouTube? 2019. At that time, when I was in the Philippines and I started, I got 1,000 subscribers for a few months and I was really happy. You know yeah. the feeling, right? Like when you're starting to do YouTube and then you got 1,000 subscribers. Happy 1,000 subscribers! Yeah, it's really happy, yeah. So memorable, yeah, that's right. So, so you just start with no reason or is there any like specific reason? So, I never think about doing YouTube, but then my ex-boyfriend, he's Korean, he said I'm so funny. He feels like I have a potential to do YouTube. So he supported me. So I tried. We started as a couple. Couple okay. contents. I didn't know that people would like it. My first month in Korea, I already have like 100,000 subscribers. Wow. It was during pandemic. So people are like stuck in the house. Yeah. And then they're like just watching YouTube. I always see in the comments, Oh, my pandemic parents. Did you meet him in the Philippines? Yeah, I used to teach him English. At first, we were just like friends and then... It evolved into... Okay, yeah, that's the beginning of the big history. When I was young, I already loved Korea. It's Here's my K-drama. Yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Every K-drama, it's very famous in the Philippines. And since when I was elementary, I already started watching K-drama. And because of that, I started to like Korea. Mm. So I'm like, when I yeah. grow up, I want to go to Korea one day. I still continue to make a content about Korea because I really love Korea. It's like my second home country. Yeah. This is like a country where I started to be independent. And I really love myself, the version of myself when I'm here. Are there many people who love Korea and Philippines? Yeah, a lot. Almost everyone. Really? Especially the K-pop fans. They like K-drama because of that. They also want to go to Korea one day. It's like how I started. And a lot of Filipino, Filipino now will love you. Really? Please? Please? <laughs> <laughs> you have uh, 850,000 subscribers. Most of the subscribers are Filipino. Mm. I want to ask you, if you don't mind, how much money do you earn by month? Tell me the maximum. A maximum and the lowest. The maximum and the lowest, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. The lowest would be 200,000 won. But how many subscribers? Oh, 800. 800. They think that if you have a lot of subscribers, yeah. you ha you get a lot of money. I no. Mean, it's about the views and the yeah. ads that you don't skip. And then the highest must be 2 to 3 million won a month. That's just in YouTube. We also have like advertisements, oh, like company right. brands, yeah. three minutes, like integrated video to promote their brands. Mm. The rate it depends on your subscribers. What is your maximum income per month, including that kind of advertisement? That's a secret. Secret? More than 5 million won. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> You've been in Korea quite a long time and I want to know the pros and cons of Korea. For me, Korea is a very well-developed country, right? For example, the transportation, oh. everything is like techy. It's so like updated. 30 minutes traffic is already too much. In the Philippines, 30 minutes is just really nothing. Really? That's the pros. The cons is that the people in the country is feeling a lot of pressure. Korea have one of the most high suicidal rate. Competing with each other yeah. is like too much, the pressure. It doesn't end at school. You need to compete with everyone. Status, like you need to reach some kind of status mm, for right. you to feel like you belong. You know, so I think that's the cons of it. Uh, the other day I was in a diachol and there's this Ajushi who Kapchagi went to me like had chukushipo and then I was with my friend. Yeah, Dweji, chukushipo? Really? I'm already used to this. I didn't really react. I think it's coming from the feeling of unsatisfied and sadness or upset or frustration. You try so hard to live your life. But then you still feel like you're not belonging in the society. Oh, you don't look him. That's right. So it's like a projection that he put it in a way to relieve the, you know, the pain, the unwanted feeling. That's what the con says. Do you feel that pressure? Yeah, I felt a lot when I was in high school. Really? I studied from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. I think. High school. High school. It may be changed now, but when I was studying at high school, it was really hard. 
And sometimes I dream of the time when I was in high school as a nightmare. Jinja? Yeah. Now that you're grown up, you don't feel like, oh, I want to go back to when I was high school because it was really happy and fun. No, you don't think about it? If I can go back to the high school, I want to go back to the specific time just after I success in entering the university that I want. Ah, that yeah. man. After that time, it's really good. I wanted to go back to high school. We were just having fun. So we don't think about any other pressure about life. We were just kids being a kid. Oh, wow, we are Really? Different, Different, yeah. Well. So you talk me about the uh, pros and cons of Korea, and I'm to ask, what parts of Korea do you think should be changed? The beauty standard. Every country have this, you know, standards. Philippines too. We also have it. But I personally think the beauty standard in Korea is too much. Like to the point that the K-pop idols or the actors are already saying that this is not healthy. You need to really starve yourself. How do you think about it? Do you think it's good? The beauty standard. Uh... I have some experience. I went to Singapore as an exchange student about seven years ago and I heard some episode. One Korean plastic surgery hospital went to Singapore to promote themselves mm -hmm. and they asked some Singaporean girl about plastic surgery and she said, why I need that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, their thinking is different. I think I can learn from them. So I think their inner mind is more strong. They're more think about inner things. Ah, uh, inner beauty. Inner beauty, yeah. Do you have any last word to say in Korean? In Korean? I'm <laughs> not Too short. Too short? My message for everyone who sometimes feel like it's so hard to believe in yourself and believe that you're beautiful. You're very beautiful in your own way putting too much effort about your you know physical appearance sometimes we tend to forget about the inner beauty it's it's just really temporary you'll get old eventually those days you will get wrinkles and you will know you get wrinkles in time yeah. thanks for watching my video and if you enjoyed it please subscribe and like and comment down here and also visit her youtube channel so that she can maintain her life <laughs> <laughs> so that she can maintain her life thank you so much and you can just comment down below whether you guys like suggest what do you want us to do we're going to doing another video in the future so please comment down if you have any suggestion okay bye, -bye. okay bye